all intrigued by capturing images. Now imagine taking those images a step further into the 3D realm. It all would have seemed incredibly futuristic not too many years ago, but 3D printing is now a reality. And of course, you know, underneath the chin here, well, this will be fine once I'm merging it, we'll fill that in. Yeah. 3D printing is a, is a new method of manufacturing where we can create physical objects by laying down successive layers of material. So we take a, a 3D model, we slice it into, into thousands and thousands of layers and lay each one down, one on top of the other, which gives us a physical model at the end. While creating 3D models has always been in the mindset of people who work in technical industries and creating prototypes for various applications, at Objects Unlimited, Steve and his team are really focused on bringing 3D printing to consumers. So it's all about printing people. Well, printing a person is a very interesting process. We start with a 3D scan. So we will uh, we use our 3D scanner and acquire a three-dimensional image of you. We then do a little bit of digital sculpting to clean up some of the areas and make the color just right. Then we throw it on the printer, take it off, and do a little bit of post-processing. We dip it in crazy glue, we sand it, we dip it in wax, and make it look fantastic. 3D printing is still largely used by people in tech-based careers. And while that market will always be important, the client base for 3D printing is changing. Right now, our biggest client base, and for all 3D printers, is product development. Because 3D printing allows you to rapidly produce multiple versions of the same item or different, uh, different versions of, of an item so that you can shorten your design cycle. In the past, people would wait six to eight weeks to get each version of their product through the machining process. We deliver next day. So therefore, you can, you can cycle through your development much quicker. Uh, we, however, here at Objects Unlimited, we want to bring 3D printing to consumers. That's what we're focusing on, and that's why we're talking to you today to show you how we can do models and scanning of people. With 3D printing being so new, it begs the question, how will the average person use it? Well, we can give you something absolutely different than anything else. If you want a family portrait in three dimensions in color, we can do that. If you want to take yourself and modify it, for example, make yourself into a zombie or a vampire, add hats, add horns, we can do anything once we have your geometry. So custom chess pieces are an example, uh, cameos, uh, physical models, we can make jewelry. There's all kinds of things we can do once we have your three-dimensional image. Perhaps the most surprising detail about the process is the cost. The price for creating a 3D model is not as high as you might think. Well, 3D printing has come down significantly in price the last two years, and we expect it to drop uh, every year going forward. Home 3D printers are now available for between $1,500 and $5,000 for fairly decent quality. The type of industrial equipment we have here, obviously, is much more expensive, but it is becoming more affordable every single day. The experience of having a 3D image of yourself created is kind of fun. A 360 degree scan is performed to capture every angle. In addition, high res photographs are taken to ensure that all of the colors and details are captured. The technicians and artists then set to work blending the images that have been scanned, cleaning up the final image, adjusting color and detail, and finally sending it to the printer. The final product is remarkable. To learn more, visit ObjectsUnlimited.com.